I've got a need. The need for speed. Bonus points in the comment section if you know that 90s reference. Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com and today I'm geeking out with you guys over some awesome gear. Today we're going to be geeking out over some Samsung solid state drives. Try saying that five times fast, I dare you. So, full disclosure, Samsung is paying me zero dollars for this video, but I am now a Samsung ambassador, which means that I will get to review cool products. The cool thing is I'm reviewing something they sent over and I'm also reviewing something that I bought. As many of you guys remember, I recently put together uh, a video editing and gaming rig, uh, which was pretty expensive to do overall, especially since I put three Samsung Evo 850 SSDs in it. That was not cheap. So we're going to be talking about that, and we're going to be talking about the Samsung T3 SSD drive that they sent over. They actually sent me over two of these. So you guys actually saw me review the Samsung T3 in an earlier video and it was one of the smaller configurations. Well, they sent over the two terabyte version because I work with 4K video and this is perfect for that. The reason that SSDs are great for video editing in general and 4K video editing is because one, 4K files are large. They also require fast hard drives because of not only the size, but because of the uh, bit rate of video. That's a little complicated to get into and I'll probably have to explain it in another video, but let's just say that uh, faster is always gonna be better when it comes to video editing, especially high quality video editing. It's the reason why building a video editing machine costs so much money. It's because you need everything to be as fast as possible. You need a really fast and very powerful graphics card very fast and high-end processors with multiple cores and a crap ton of RAM. But where people cheap out usually is with their drives. They like large storage drives because these file sizes get huge and getting high capacity SSDs is not cheap. But it is worth it in terms of the time savings and the lack of frustration of knowing that you spent all this money into all your other parts only to be slowed down by the drive speed. The Samsung T3 actually gets up to 450 megabits per second, so that's tremendous. That's typically about four times faster than most of the SSD drives that I've used in the past. That's definitely faster than uh, my SD cards, uh, even the high-end ones that I use from Lexar. So that is something that really matters in terms of transferring files back and forth. It also matters in terms of reading files off of the drive itself. When I'm video editing on the Dell XPS 13, uh, that actually is really convenient when I'm traveling and on the go because I can render and read and do everything right from that SSD drive instead of copying it over uh, to the machine. But that machine actually is using a Samsung SSD drive as its primary drive anyway. So between the two of them, I get fast speeds for both um, copying over or offloading to the drive, but in terms of working from that drive in Adobe Premiere Pro when I'm doing my video editing, it's still lightning fast and I don't have any lag and I don't have anything to worry about. That's something that I haven't experienced with a lot of other portable drives. There are some other great drives out there, but this is definitely one of the fastest ones I've encountered and with its uh, metal casing, it is actually durable and reliable in addition to being really tiny. So I hope you guys have an understanding now of why SSD drives are so important for uh, video editing. It makes a real difference in your ability to export your video. It's why I set up multiple SSDs in my desktop. It is one of the reasons why I went with a desktop instead of just you know an Apple uh, computer. Having the custom desktop means that I have an SSD for my operating system and my applications, which means that program layer, everything is fast. Adobe, Photoshop, everything launches lightning quick, just like that. Um, I have another SSD that's just for my temporary file storage, my page file, my media caching. It's basically all of my temporary storage so that whenever uh, a program needs to offload something, it has a dedicated resource for that. So that's where my scratch disk is for the Adobe programs. Um, you know, that's where I dump my proxy files while I'm editing 4K footage and it makes everything faster. And then finally, I have a dedicated SSD just for exporting final video files. This is great because it means that 
when it's time to export something from Premiere Pro or After Effects, there's a dedicated drive, there's dedicated bandwidth just going straight to that, and it's one of the fastest things in the computer. So that means I have almost no bottlenecks and handicaps when it comes to my video editing. If I could go back and I could change anything, I would have spent more money on larger capacity SSDs and maybe a little bit more money instead of pen and pinching and going with a six core processor instead of a four core processor. And so those are the reasons that I think it's important to use SSD drives for your video editing workflow. I chose Samsung primarily as mine. And again, they are not sponsoring this video, uh, but they did send me uh, some cool stuff, but I also bought a ton of it myself. Anyway, if you guys would like to know more about my 4K video editing hardware, let me know in the comment section. What do you want to know more about? Do you want to know more about my processor and how I chose that? Do you guys want more info on RAM and motherboards? What do you guys want to know about this computer build that I put together and how to edit videos, whether it's 4K or HD? Uh, I want to answer your questions, so leave those in the comment section. Also, let me know what tech you want me to review here on the channel. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Remember, links to everything are in the description below for you. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and geeking out with me over SSDs and why they are better for video editing.